Hey everybody, thanks for joining. Uh, today we are testing every single mask on Amazon, which, in case you're wondering, is a lot more masks than I thought it was when we agreed to do this project. So uh, today uh, we are testing disposable face mask, um, which is about what half of them are called. And that's one of the reasons we wanted to do this project because there's really not a lot of accountability because there's not a lot of brands. Um, this is a dark gray mask, it's four layers, and we've actually tested it before. Look it, look familiar? Yeah, we tested it earlier and didn't even realize it because it had a different brand name. I'm gonna test this. That's insane, look at that. Look at that, let's try to break this. That is really good, that is so strong. It was uh, one that we had purchased, like I said, we purchased every single one and what happens a lot of times on Amazon is you buy a mask or you buy a thing and something that is a little bit different shows up. Literally the same box, this one is called the Yika. Okay, I like that, Yika. Y-J-I-A-K-A. -A. Uh, it has a, the listing is a little bit better in my opinion, but it's the same thing as we've already tested. And last time it tested at? Tested at 94% uh, filtration. 94%. And breathability is 180. 181 breathability. We're gonna test this again, and I think it's really useful to test twice. And the reason why is we've tested the same brand many times and we've gotten a lot of different results. Um, and I think it's really useful to do this because it really tells you if you can trust the brand. But what I hate about this mask, and I think it's the dumbest thing, I think this gets the dumbest mask award for sure. Let me, let me grab a couple of these out of here. Is that, as you will see on the box and on the listing, it says four ply mask. And on this one, in large letters, it says four layer filtration. Well, that's some bull I'm here to tell you because only one layer does the filtration. The only layer that filters is, uh, is the melt blown. Uh, everything else is made to stop your uh, water from coming out of your mouth and water coming in. Water going out, water coming in. That's what those two layers are because melt blown can't stop water. By the way, airflow is 199. That's worse. So typically if you want to wear a mask for a long period of time, you want to wear, and I know you're not a scientist, but if you have a lab coat, maybe you'll know that you want to have at least uh, under 150 pascals is typically pretty breathable. Our masks are high filtration, 98%, and just as a benchmark, ours comes in at about 119. Okay, but under 150 is pretty good. This one was at uh, almost 200, 199. What's weird is the one we tested before was at what? 181. So this is worse breathability. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. I can't remember what I labeled this, the smell of this one is. The, the nose wire, remember in the bas last one, didn't work very well, because it's using four layers, and so, the, so it's not giving you a good seal on the top. I, I would very seriously not recommend this mask very well. And, but the, but be, oh yeah, that's right. This is super strong because it's going through four layers, so it's giving a really good weld. The smell, It's like, um, it's like, uh, if like crayons were being melted in the room next to you and, uh, you woke up from a deep sleep and you're like, what is going on? And it turns out that like your kid was melting crayons with like, uh, maybe like a light bulb or something like that. That's what this smells like. Very dangerous. Very like, I'm, I'm kind of concerned about what's going on, but it's not one of the worst smelling masks I've had. So, which is surprising because they are packaging their masks um, as we've shown you in, in this really great packaging. All right, but the question is, does this thing protect you? What do you think? I'll just go with the same, 94. 94? 96.1, 96.13%. So actually this one, and I'll just, you know, show this here, this mask came in two percentage points higher than this one. What that tells me is that they're not really paying attention to the quality of melt blown that they're putting in there because this one's a little bit better than this one. So again, I obviously am not a super big fan of this mask. It's not very breathable. I personally wouldn't use it. The filtration though is good. So if you're making a decision on just the filtration one, I'd say go ahead. All right, I hope you like this video. If not, I don't care. Hit the like button. I'm a bully and I'll make it happen. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but it'd be nice if you liked and subscribed. <laughs> and uh, we're testing a lot of masks. We're going mask crazy here. So I'll see you on the next mask test. Thank you.